All right, and welcome. This is Nick Marine presenting Let's Learn Japanese, a course series for the self-study of Japanese from basics and beginnings up there, made and hopefully advanced. Uh, it's a Let's Read Japanese episode, as always, <laughs> or recently, it's been always. It's um, today is episode ten of Keiko on Dekinai Toko. Uh, so we're nearing the end of this particular series. Um, starting soon will be the uh, first half of Harry Potter. Um, thinking that'll be taking about mm, anywhere between eight to ten hours to get through. Uh, then after that, follow up with a probably a drama of my choosing. It, uh, I haven't really decided yet, but then after that, again, the second half of Harry Potter. Just keep doing back and forth. I, I think I'll still try to... Um, I, I kind of like reading to subtitles like when it's a, something like this, but at the same time, there's some benefits to reading uh, the transcripts, when, especially if they're uh, more detailed transcripts. Again, much better. This particular show didn't have really... The transcripts were not really that good. Um... Yeah, and just uh, keep going from there. The and again, the uh, main goal is, you know, yeah, mainly it's milestones. So again, right now I'm hitting the hundred hour milestone, and um, you know, so next milestone is two hundred hours, and after that, uh, three hundred hours. So the current plan is I'll be doing Harry Potter for this first set of hundred hours mixed in with TV shows, for the for the next set of hundred hours basically. Um, I think it should come up to about that. It might take a little bit. Life it takes longer, then that's fine. And then after that, I'll actually be doing other novels, like uh, the idea of novels that actually have TV shows that accompany them, that go, that are also there. Uh, so like Hanzao Naoki, um, Hanzao Naoki, The Flying Tire, um, maybe uh, Rise of the Guardian, of the Shield Guardian, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes it's like live action drama, sometimes it'll be anime. But the idea is that, okay, hey, it also, there's also a book with uh, an audio book to go with it. And, um, yeah, look forward to that. And, just, you know, again, just kind of just keep uh, hammering away at this day by day. So I'll read for about a one or two hours a day. Just see where it takes you. And, you know, and that's on top of the normal studying. So, you know, again, we do studying not only is there the review. Way I'm, I've changed it up now to where it's definitely that my reviews are much faster, but you know I do have to start. You know, I'm kind of catching back to where I, got, I fell way behind uh, in my reviews, so I need to catch it back up with my reviews, and uh, after that start on with the N2 vocabulary and hopefully get that finished within however many two or three months that would take if I am consistent, and then move on to um, a little bit more kanji than the M1 vocabulary uh, and sentences from there. And then hopefully by the time, again, by the time I reach that 200 or 300 hour reading mark, you know, I'm also, you know, done with the, uh, with the vocabulary, in which case I'll actually will move on into sentence mining. And I think for sentence mining, I may, you know, just out of interest, instead of uh, worrying about using audio, you know, maybe I will to start, you know, there is a way where I can take a book, turn them into individual sentences, so that's not too difficult, it can be done. And then run that through Morph Man and, you know, basically find some sentences that are, you know, the I plus one sentences, you know, and just get vocabulary that way. Um, and the reason I want, I'm thinking about doing that now instead of before I was like, okay, let's just use Substance Res. Substance Res is great when you, but at a certain point, because the amount of effort and time and uh, time you got to invest is trying to get, you know, get the material, uh, it, it could be, uh, let's just say just um, you spend more time you can end up spending more time uh, I think it's just about you know there's a little bit about the amount of space you got to use you know, because of the audio library that you got to include with that whereas may maybe it w by that point it wouldn't be too bad if I just start getting stuff from books um, I wouldn't be at you know again because hopefully I might watching and reading it, you know the fact that there are some words here that are just because you know happen to be from something I read I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal um, and plus you can kind of you know, if you're worried about it, you probably could find some uh, audio if you're going to be looking for it. Or, yeah, who knows. Hope, again, it just depends on what happens by the, by the time that, that point rolls around. <sighs> Maybe I should have poured some. Yeah, okay. All right. But, but yeah, this is still fun. I, uh, I didn't read yesterday. I did some reviewing, but I didn't read yesterday. Um, yeah, I should have. So that's a big thing about all this. It's going to be consistency. If you, if I were consistent, and now that I have the material that I think is legit on getting you to that M1 level, uh, you know, I part of me is thinking, you know, it's just a matter of being consistent. Like, 
again, there is a studying, so that's, you know, there can be an hour of studying, either that's reviewing, adding new words, you know, and just do that consistently a day by day, you know, where you're adding about 20 or 30 new, you know, add about 20 words a day, 15 to 20, or if you do a little bit more, 20 to 30, that's fine as well, um, just being consistent, just being consistent, you're going to get better that way, and just add in the watching of Japanese every day and the reading of Japanese every day, just kind of remember to do that, and yeah, I think you'll be fine. Okay, so again, um, I think the last time I did the this, the last video I did, some people were checked in on it, and like there was the first time noticing, and there were some guys that they were like realizing, hey, wow, they can follow along, they can understand what's happening, um, and actually are, are enjoying themselves. Like they didn't realize that you could sit down and enjoy watching Japanese, even <laughs> even Japanese in this format where it's you're mainly concerned about the reading as opposed to the watching. Um, but again, it was good hearing that, getting that feedback from them that they were actually seeing the benefits, the merit behind doing this. Even if it's again, it's part of it is like you're trying to get better in Japanese, but also because it's fun to do. You know, you enjoy reading this stuff and the jokes, the humor. It just is fun to do. Um, and if it's fun to do, it doesn't feel like it's uh, work. Then you're more encouraged to do it. You know, it's like you're saying, like you know, watch TV shows on Netflix. Even if, there, if there's an American show you want to watch, if it's on Netflix, most likely, uh, if you got the, the VPN for it, you can get the Japanese audio and subs for it. And just watch that show in Japanese, that's all. You know, and um, yeah, when you're at the M4 level, you have to kind of like play some games so you understand the, you know, maybe watch five, three to five minutes in Japanese and then re-watch that same segment with English subtitles turned on, but it's still in Japanese, you know, and just keep going that way. Yeah, it's... It might feel tedious, but it, you know you're you are doing it in Japanese. It's fun, hopefully, because you're being in, the story stays engaging. You're not missing something, so it doesn't feel like, okay, I'm just watching gibberish now, you know, because you got some understanding from the English portion on it, and then you go back to Japanese, and you start realizing over time, you're getting more from the Japanese side of things. All right, uh, all right. DK Master wrote a quick ask. Do you have any plans on making a video detailing the whole LLJ path? Uh, you explain parts of it all the time, but uh, as far as I know, you don't have it a whole single... It may, I think I do need to go back and redo the video. I did have it when I was calling it Suggest Guide for Japanese Learning, um, Japanese Literacy. So, yeah, and the path isn't too difficult. It's, you know, <laughs> again, <it's> hiragana, <laughs> tango, 1,000 words, 500 most common kanji, uh, <laughs> tango in four, next 500 most common kanji, Tango N3, next 500 most common kanji. And then you can throw in there, uh, as soon as they're made, you know, the um, Shinkansen master stuff, you know, just, and that's just for the, the structured study, let's call that structured study. And then what I'm doing here, off to the side, this is called structured reading. Or it could also be called structured watching. Um, probably if, this is more like structured watching because it's just completely is uh, the subtitles. So it's more structured watching than structured reading. Um, um, at the same time, though, if you did this with audiobooks, I think this is that is definitely structured reading. And I say structured in that you're making sure if you don't see something, you look it up. It doesn't mean you're me trying to now go and take that word and memorize it. It just meant that, hey, you're just making sure you're catching stuff you miss and enjoying the stuff you, you're able to catch. But yeah, DK Master, that's a good point. I, it's one of those things like I, like I, since the Kohi forms went away, uh, and I, that I had listed like all the let's say the links to the Tai Kim videos for the Guide to Japanese Grammar or the RTK videos, those are all listed there. Now I still have that list and stuff, I just, I, what I need to do is go to the Let's um, let's Learn Japanese subreddit, the one I, you know, moderate, <laughs> I moderate. Um, it has all of five posts on there. The, um, maybe, again, put it there, stick it so it's at the top, but again, part of it will be a video and explanation as to what's the Let's Learn Japanese path which makes sense. Then below that will be the videos uh, related to Let's Learn Japanese, such as the, take, the Hiragana Katakana, Take Him, uh, the video reviews for the Let's Tango, and then also the Kanji videos. Yeah, and this is something I just need to get around to doing. It's, it won't be too hard. I've got the, I've got the links and all that stuff. I just got to get down, get down to actually do it. So, again, thank you for that. All right, with that said, let's, uh, let's get started. Yeah, it's been about a 10 minute little update. And you're right, I do talk, say the same thing over and over again. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm going to turn the microphone down to 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10.
There we go. All right, uh, same as before, playing up above, reading off to the side. If I see something I don't know, I pause it and uh, hover over it and try to get a little bit of comprehension that way. Beyond that, it's just, uh, yeah, and read and enjoy. Have fun. Chiyosunka. うん。ベイマツ、ベイマツハルヨンになったから。あ、ちゃんと指示通りやってるよ。指示通りやったよ。よし。あれ。これ、なんだこれ。なんだこれ。こんなの設計にないですよ。当たり前だよ。当たり前
わかりましたすぐ行きます申し訳ありません現場でトラブルが発生したみたいで前向きに検討していただけますねはいまた連絡しますすいませんでした<笑>なんとか棟梁をなだめたからすぐ現場再開してくれるってすいませんいつも桑野さんはあ聞こえないふりして仕事してますまあいいんじゃない立花様の打ち合わせ明日の3時って言っといてね立花様それじゃもういっつも沢崎さんに迷惑ばっかかけてあのね家を作るってのは共同作業なんだよ共同作業なんだよムティモ共同作業なんだよあいつがトラブルを処理して俺が設計に専念するこれを念俺は設計に専念する分業体制って言うんだ分業体制分業体制分業体制分業体制と言うんだすごい理屈じゃあもし沢崎さんいなくなったらどうするんですかそういう家庭の質問に答えても意味がないだろうそういう家庭うん家庭そういう家庭の質問に答え答えても意味がない申し訳ありませんでしたあんたも苦労するね<笑>よしやるかはい東洋あのどうして沢崎さんが桑野さんの代わりに頭を下げなきゃなんないんですかトラブルを解決するのも私の給料のうちなのうんでもなんだか甘やかしすぎにあうな気がするんですよね桑野さんって沢崎さんが定職でもしたらどうすんだろうどうしましたもうダメ黙ってんの疲れたあなたにだけ言うわ何ですか他の人に言ってはダメよ特に桑野さんにはえ引き抜きあと内緒ね<笑>特に桑野さんにほら平気平気もう帰ったからでもさ引き抜きってどこの会社からようんえー、すごいじゃんやっぱ優秀な人には引き抜き話って来るもんなんだな引き抜きってうわっちょっとメモリー忘れたからあっ誰が引き抜かれたっていやあのダメだなそんなのうわ仕事の後のビルってなんでこんなおいしいんだろう今日はトラブルを一件解決した後だから余計においしい。桑野さんと一緒に仕事してておかしくなりませんかまあ仕事はできる人だから少しは我慢のしがいもあるっていうかあれで仕事がダメなら救いようがないそれにこれだけ長年やってると表情を見ただけである程度考えてることがわかるから二人が想像するよりスムーズにいってますよ表情でわかると言いますね唇の端を歪めるとき。その。歪めるとき。歪める
何か言いたいことを我慢してるんですよねうんなるほどねうんこの知識は何の役に立つんですか別に<笑>そういえば早坂さんお見合いしたんですって<笑>まあいいじゃないですかそんな話<笑>聞いても全然教えてくれないんですよちょっと間がさしただけ間がさしてちょっと間がさしてだっけ桑野さんってお見合いしたことないのかなないでしょうでもあの人の写真とプロフィールだけ見たら騙されてお見合いしたいっていう人いそうですよね会ってからドヒャって感じですあ<笑><笑>ドヒャうんドヒャって感じですけど<笑>ここ空いてるね。あ、今日は女だけで飲む会なんですけど。なんでここが分かったの？お前の部下に聞いた。お前の部下に聞いた。沙織ちゃん、いい加減名前覚えてあげて。引き抜きの話も。え？もう言うなって言ったのに。引き抜きってよその会社に？どこの会社ですか？ワールドハウジングま,まさか本当にワールドハウジングってすごいじゃないですか実力が認められたんですねいいなあ私そういうの一生縁なさそう<笑>一生縁なさそううん縁なねえになさそうお祝いしましょうかはい<笑>すいません中条機3つ、はい、まだ考え中なの決めたわけじゃないから<笑>で河野さんは何しにだから俺はだ<笑>またかまたありますね。血圧はい。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血圧。血
検査項目のチェックお願いしますはい自分の都合じゃなくて転職することが沢崎さんにとって本当にいいかどうか考えてあげるべきでしょう。また説教か、ま、教トラブルの処理ぐらい自分でできないんですか別に一人でもできますよただただやらないだけですかそうです設計の仕事に専念するために分業体制を敷いてるだけです設計の仕事に専,専念専念するために分業大切分業大切、うん、分業大切分業大切を敷いていや敷いてる敷いてるだけですトラブルのしてくれやろうと思えば僕にはできますよああそうですかかずみちゃんはいえっと血圧上が140に下が90です高いですね<笑>あなたがあげてるんだ<笑>うわすごいどうしたの桑野さんの名前で検索したら3000件もヒットしたどう検索検索したらどうして桑野さんの中で検索するの出来心っていうか昨日桑野さんが仕事はできる人だって話聞いたからおお素敵なキッチンあ結婚してこんな家に住みたい住みたいこんな家が作れるなら桑野さんとずっと仕事していこうって思うのも不思議はないのかな彼女は更新してるじゃないかえボーリングアベリージいくつだよこちらです立花様お連れしましたあどうもはじめましてよろしくお願いしますどうぞ奥へどうぞ奥へえ沢崎さんもう来るんじゃないかちょっとちょちょちょちょあのご夫婦これですよなんでいやご主人が家を新築するのを機に仕事を辞めて家事に専念してほしいと奥さんに言ったらしいんですようんいやご主人が家を新築するのする仕事をやめて彼女の専念でも奥さん仕事続けたいらしくて完全に冷静状態仕事を続けたいらしくて完全に冷静状態コールウォーうん冷静状態なくなるしてから来いよまあ沢崎さんが来たら何とかしてくれるでしょう<笑>コーヒーいきますねはいどうしようお前遅刻だぞごめん実はね私の祖母が亡くなったのよえこれから行かなきゃいけないの悪いけど打ち合わせ私抜きでお願いできるああ分かったああああお,お大事になもう死んだあああの<笑>この度はなんていうかお気の毒な感じで無理気の毒。気の毒。お気の毒な感じで。って何か言おうとしなくていい。九十八で大王女だから、みんなサバサバしたもんよ。大王女、大王女王。九十八で大王女だから。みんなサバサバ。うん。Made peace with it. サバサバ。うん。サバサバでしたもんだよ。あ
I'll say a uh, quick. I'll add to this. Like my my wife, her grandfather passed away when he was like 104, um, and he actually was living on his own for even past 100. But you know, in the last year or so, because he had had a stroke, so then hospitalized, so we're taking care of him. So yeah, it took many months. You know, he did eventually pass away. But again, it's very similar. Where the, again, they were aware of this. He you know passed peacefully. Uh, it, it was expected. It's still a little sad or whatnot, but. Um, again, it's it's a different feeling than if someone you know just had a sudden death that wasn't expected. Mata nenok suru kara, sore ja. Ah, just, just wait. Nani? Hikinuki nai shi, ukeda kya ukeru? Eh? Nani yo kyo ni? Ukeda kya? Hmm, let's see if that has a that's a full set phrase. No. Ukeda kya? Ukeru? Eh, ore wo da ii kara sa. Sore ja na. どうぞ。まあ奥さん、そう覚悟しないで。別に覚悟してません。そう覚悟しないで。ああそうですか。分かった。お前がどうしてもっていうなら仕事続けたっていいよ。<笑>ほら解決した。全然解決してません。<笑>仕事続けること認めて、私に貸しでも作るつもり？<笑>仕事続けること認めて、返しても。うん。<笑>そんなわけないだろう。すぐ人をバカにした態度。<笑>そんな風に見えます？いや普通ですよ。うん？まあ話を聞いたところでは奥さんの思い過ごしていいかご主人はあなたを必要としているわけだしあなたに家にいてほしいんですよ今の職場でこんなに求めてくれる人がいますか必要されるところにいた方がいいでしょう。同じようなところにいるよりは。行ってもいなくても。同じようなところに。私が脳なしだって言うんですか？脳なしだって言うんですか？火事でもしてろって言うんですか？いやそんなことは言ってない。<笑>あれ？ちょっと待てよ。ほら、もう坂崎さんなしにこういう問題を処理しようっていうのが無理なんですよ。まだ挽回するチャンスはあるだろう。挽回。まだ挽回するチャンスはあるだろう。あるかな。いや、坂崎さんにフォロー頼むしかないな。お母さん老人ホーム入るつもりなの知ってた。ああ、なんか言ってたら。え、黙って聞いてたの？俺んとこ来ないかとか言ってあげなかったの？言えるかよ。自分の親でしょ。まあお母さんの意思もあるんだし。ユミ？意思。考え、お母さんの意思もあるんだし、まあお母さんの意思が。ユミはおばあちゃん好きよね。うん、お小遣いいっぱいくれるもん。<笑>ね、やっぱりお母さんここ呼んであげない？うん。あ、そういえば見てないからメール来てたな。結婚したって。見てないから。うん？わ、だめ見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらしい。見たらし
はなしそらすそらすおふくろはここに来ないよはなしそらすおふくろはお前は中川家に嫁に行ったんだしなんか世話になるわけにはいかないらしいかうん私ね時々お母さんが一人で暮らしてるのを想像して胸が痛くなることがあるのお母さん口じゃお前んとこ行くの嫌だなんて言ってるけど本音じゃどうなのかなお兄ちゃんが結婚さえしてればねそれ知ってるところで見てられて誰だ誰って誰だこんばんはこんばんはあら<笑>かわいい<笑>あんたのお名前なんてのケンって言うんですえケンちゃん目がかわいい<笑>誰かに似てる<笑><笑>はあ遅いわね誰か待ってらっしゃるんですか<笑>息子にちょっと届け物しに来ただけなんですけどねあじゃあ私預かりましょうか何号室ですか502号室ですえ息子ってあら雨、うん、そうですか新助と親しくしていただいてるんですかい,いえ別に親しくはなかなかお嫁さんに来てくれる人がいなくてねご心配ですね早坂さんとおっしゃる女医さんがいてどうかと思ってるんですけど夏美さんならよく知ってますけど無理だと思いますあやっぱりそう夏美さんこの間も他の人とお見合いしてましたしああ失礼ですけどあなたおいくつ<笑>えご結婚の予定とか終わりなの<笑>あのああそうだ桑野さんにちょうどいい人がいますどうなった桑野さんのお仕事の相手で沢崎さんっていう人がいるんですご存知ですか<笑>いいえあの子何も言いませんもの長年一緒に仕事しててすごく信頼し合ってるみたいですよ仕事だけの間柄ってもったいないくらいうん仕事だけの間柄うん間間柄仕事だけの間柄だから、あいだから、あいだ、あいだから、あいだから。Let's see if that's it. I'm kind of interested. Whoop, come back here. あいだから。あいだから。Okay. あら。らえー、っとその方ちょっとお名前なんとしちゃったっ、えー、沢崎さんでした沢崎さん<笑>えおいくつぐらいの方おいくつぐらいの方<笑><笑> Gotta love the mom あれ濡れてんだあうん、うん、雨やんだみたいですよあら、ほんとまったくこの年になって息子の嫁探ししてるなんて思ってもいませんでしたよ息子の嫁探し探し,し,しお母さんも大変ですねちょちょっとそこあら何やってんだよあそうそうちょっと待ってえ雨が降り出したからちょっと雨宿りしてもらってただけですね、もらいもののシャンパンあなたにちょうどいいと思って<笑>はい<笑>届かないや<笑>ちょうどいいと思って届かないよ<笑>油断の隙もあったらしいちょっとやらちょっとごめんね<笑>油断油断油断も油断も好きもあった、うん、ちょっと
いいこと教えてくれてありがとうああいえちょっと何を教えたんだもう少し詳しいことを聞いていいはい健ちゃん行くよあ葬儀に伺えないのでせめてお通夜にお葬儀にはうん伺えないお通夜せめてお通夜に昨日桑野が引き抜きの話受けろなんて言ったんですよそうですかあいつなりに私のこと考えてくれてるのかな佐々木さんまだ迷ってらっしゃるみたいですね桑野さんがいいって言ってくれたのにどうもそうみたいです
<笑>うん。これ、翔子。ああ、今度は何て言ってる。ありがとう。あ、俺も帰るわ。車で送ろうか。いや、いいよ。いいのよ、少しぐらい抜けたって、もうじゃないんだから。もう集じゃないんだから。もう集じゃないんだから。なんか突然二人で車に乗ると変な感じ。緊張するっていうか。だから嫌だった。この先二百メートルを右折してください。右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右折、右
いりませんポイントカードお持ちじゃないですよねあ,ありません1120円になりますやっぱりスプーンくださいいらっしゃいませあれまだ返却されてない DVD ありますね返却されてないいやないですよ、うん、おかしいなあ<笑>ちょっと待ってくださいね<笑>なりました<笑>あ,あ,あ,あ,あおはようございますあ,あおはようこの間来た立花さんのご主人からさっき電話ありましたなんか当分仲直りできそうにないみたいなんで新築話は一旦ペンディングにしたいそうです新築話は一旦ペンディングあ,あペンディングああそうはあやっぱ沢崎さん頼むしかないなあ昨日お通夜行って話してくれたんですよね昨日お通夜って昨日お通夜行って<咳>うわ言ってないんだうるさいなもう仕事しようよ仕事なんかありませんよ立花さんのためにスケジュール開けてあったんですから沢崎さん他の会社行っちゃうのかなまあ条件もいいみたいだししょうがないかでもあの人なしでやってけんのかなどうせ代わりの人間がすぐ来るやどこにいるんですかもういたら紹介してくださいよ確かにはいあ,あ沢崎さん昨日はありがとうございましたいいえあなたの言った通り引き抜き受けるつもりだって言ってやりましたああどうでした相当動揺してましたそうですかでどうするんですかだって受けようと思ってますこの話そうなんですかやっぱりすごくいい話だし自分にとってプラスになると思うしそれに仕事じゃなくてもあいつのそばにいてやることできるからああそういう形もあるかなと思ってそうですねあれおいしそう。いくらみですかいや食事してたらなんか気持ち悪くなって吐いたんですか吐く寸前でした吐く寸前うーんと寸前寸前吐く寸前でしたうん,うんどうしたんでしょうね風邪で嘔吐を伴うことありますけど嘔吐風邪で嘔吐伴うこと伴うことあります口開けて口口どうしたんですかあなたが自分の都合じゃなくてあいつの立場で考えるとかトラブルの処理がいい自分でしろとか言うからだ沢崎さんに引き抜きの話 OK しろって言ったそうですね言いましたでも俺が人から喜ばれる家を作り続けるためには
俺の仕事にはあいつが必要なんですなら行かないでくれって言えばいいじゃないですか今さら言えるかならしょうがないでしょう言ってほしくなければちゃんと自分の口で行かないでくれって言うどっちかでしょうどっちかでしょう冷たいな<笑>はあもしかして私から沢崎さんに何とか言ってくれとかそういうこと期待してます結構ですだけですかえもし沢崎さんが転職しても仕事以外で関わりを持つことはできるじゃないですか仕事以外って仕事以外具体的に何ですか具体的に何ですか<笑>趣味とかさよならあちょっと気分悪いな多分あの人はあなたのことを好きなんじゃないかと思いますうんえ<笑>何バカなこと最近になって突然なのかずっと自分の気持ちに気づかないふりをしてきたのかそれは分かりませんでもちょっと待ってくださいよ<笑>あの人あなたの気持ちを確かめたくて転職の話 OK するって言ったんですよなんでそんなこと分かるんですか私がそうしたらって言ったからですそうしたらいいよっけなことばっかりこのままじゃあの人転職しちゃいますよ<咳>自分のことは自分で決着つけてください自分のことは自分で決着つけてくださいこの話するだけでも大サービスなんです決着うん何言ってんだ。はい。ああ、山下さん。そろそろ結論を出していただけますでしょうか。うワールドハウジングの専務も。ぜひあなたにお会いしたいそうです。じゃあ、明日。はい。十時半にコーヒー亭で。え熊野さんと沢崎さんそう意外といい組み合わせじゃないいい組み合わせいい組み合わせじゃないないなそれは。近いところにいるとかえってねいやそういう事件じゃなくてそういう事件じゃなくてうん事件そういう事件じゃなくてうんそういえばあなたたちも一応職場恋愛よね、うん、あそうなるかまあ、デートの都合もつきやすいし便利だよなうん、浮気のチェックもしやすいし<笑>でも職場恋愛の良くないところって別れた後も顔を合わせなきゃいけないところよね職場恋愛は職場結婚に発展しない限り悲劇に終わるわけだ職場恋愛職場結婚に発展,発展,発展しない限り悲劇うん悲劇に終わるわけだ人のことより自分の心配しようね
怒ってるよあーなんか地引き網みたいにご地引き地引き網うーんジヒキアミアミ、はい。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。ジヒキアミ。こういう男選びの方法ってないのかなありません冗談よそんなツンケンしなくてもツンケンツンケンそんな、寸剣しなくても。Uh, real quick, Marty is asking, Hey there, how do you usually do passive listening? Greetings.、Um, one thing you can do is,、uh, like, uh, what I'll do is I'll take audio from stuff I've studied, also from stuff I've read. I'll put it in a loop on my phone and just have that playing. That'll be the, that'll be the passive listening. And, that, you know, you can also have a, have a, a video、uh, lit playlist of stuff that I've watched.、Um, you know, definitely when it's done structured watching, like I'm doing here. And have that playing on loop as well. And it、uh, work, works out pretty good. なんか私たちの飲み会って、みちるさんに男の人ができるかどうかっていう話が多くない<笑>まあ、なんか頼りないからつい心配しちゃうんだよな。どうしてそんなに頼りないわかった。もうみんなに頼らないこれまでごめんねしあわせになりたいだけなのにうんケンは私に愛想つかしたりしないよね挨拶。さず、愛想づかし。愛想づかし。づかしたり。ずずか。ずかしたり。はい、愛想づかし。あれ。けんちゃん。やっぱり<笑>なんだもういいどいつもこいつもあれどうしたあの今沙織から聞いたんですけど佐々木さん明日10時半にコーヒー亭でヘッドハントの人と会うらしいですなんでいやなんで返事するのかなと思って知るかい
結論出していただけましたでしょうかええお聞きしましょう私いろいろ考えまして結論として何か今何かこっちを見てた人がなんでしょうね<笑>少しお待ちいただけますかあどうぞ何何よ行くなえ行かないでくれどういうことどういうことってすごくいい条件なの給料も待遇もいいし大きい仕事もできる待遇もいいしん待遇給料も待遇もいいしそれでも行くなっていうのだってあれだよせっかくいいパートナーになったんじゃないかパートナーいやそのお前はその優秀だし<笑>優秀な人ならいくらでもいるでしょ俺の設計とお前の調整能力っていうかそのコラボレーションがその相乗効果的に相乗効果的相乗効果相乗効果相乗効果相乗効果的に相乗相乗効果的にクリエイティブな力なんてさ意味わかんない分かりやすく言うとだな俺が起こしたトラブルを文句もなしに処理してくれるのはお前しかいないんだよベタベタしたりメソメソしたりしないしさメソメソメソメソベタベタしたりベタベタしたりメソメソしたりしないしさ男とか女とか意識しないで仕事だけで付き合えるそういうさ便利で都合のいいやつはお前しかいないんだよそういうこといやだからそのもう分かった<笑>バカバカしい要するに今まで通りずっと仕事のパートナーでいればいいんでしょあのお前はどうしてもそうしたいっていうなら確かに私はあなたの作る家が好きだしよそに行けばあなたの作る家ともお別れよそに行けばあなたの作る家とも<笑>しょうがないあなたのどうしようもない性格に我慢してあげてもいいわただし仕事上の付き合いだけよいいわねそっちはそういうならこれからもいい仲間でいましょうねあ,あそうしようそうしようじゃああの人待たせたままだからよしあどうせ今日は断るつもりだったんだけどねえ
そうですかまあそこまで言われたら突き放すわけにもいかないし突き放す이런나이미데이런나이미데네아나타니와その것을お伝えしたくてそれじゃまた。はい。失礼いたします。こんにちは。こんにちは。お加減でも。いえ、今日は早坂先生にお聞きしたいことがありまして。なんでしょう。えー、っあの沢崎さんっていう人ご存知ですか。どんな方なんですか。<笑>あの沢崎さんは桑野さんとは結婚されないと思います。え？桑野さんとは仕事だけって決めたみたいです。決めたみたいです。そうなんですか。ではよろしくお願いします。素敵な家にしてくださいね。桑野のお尻を叩いて必ずご期待にお答えします。<笑>楽しみにしてください。私たちこれから結婚記念日の旅行に行ってきます。あら、いいですね。それじゃ。私あの夫婦どうやって仲直りさせたんですか。奥さんに話を聞いたらね、ご主人が明日が結婚記念日だっていうのを忘れてるに腹を立ててたの。忘れてるに腹を立てたの。ご主人にそのことをこっそり耳打ちしてあげただけ。こっそりこっそり。こっそり。こっそり。耳打ち。耳打ち。耳打ち。さすがです。女心を理解するのもいい絵を作るためには必要よ。分業体制だ。分業体制で。それは任せる。任せる。女心を理解するのを放棄したんじゃ、当分結婚できないな。と。女心を理解するのを、放棄。きしたじゃん。本当結婚できないな。当分じゃないな。永遠に。Okay. All right. So let me uh, turn up the volume. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay. Anyway. Again, again, uh, another fun episode. You're kind of seeing、um, the neighbor. She's starting to get a little. Upset.、Uh, it's kind of like like everyone's like,、uh, you know, maybe not paying attention to her feelings、um, and whatnot. You know, who knows on that, how that's going. The、uh, again, two more episodes left.、Uh, the next ones I think is dealing with the stalker, and the one after that is dealing with you know again just the、uh, little final episode. There's not like a. It's kind of funny in that there is no real story. This is not a what one we call <coughs> fiction.、Uh, maybe fiction. This is not like.、Um, It's more of a narrative. It feels like, like there's not a de definitive beginning, middle, or end or anything. It's not telling a story. It's not about conflict or anything. We're just kind of like looking at this, at this guy and the weird stuff that happens in this, you know, during this segment of time in his life.、Um, you know, you might see a little bit of character growth and whatnot, but for the most part, I, I guess it's like I guess there's a, like the difference between if it's a, 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 fi a fictional story. I guess it was, what was the one they were saying like, like、um, there was that one director who said that you know he had directed、uh, Goodfellas and uh, uh, 
Scorsese. And he mentioned how the the, the story of the um, uh, God, I'm forgetting the name, the one with the uh, DiCaprio and uh, Matt Damon. But he mentioned how that was the first time he made a movie that actually had a narrative or a story. <laughs> like there was a, uh, it wasn't just actually like it wasn't a uh, uh, what just kind of felt like a documentary of sorts. The but again, it's a good, but this particular drama here, it's a good drama to watch. It's a good drama to learn from, like I've mentioned, you know, because you do see some events happening that you could ask about, and they'll explain in much greater detail as to what's going on in this scene, you know, why it's kind of, and also why it's humorous for certain reasons. Um, probably like, like why, why are people getting upset or why are people looking in shock as to what, the, why this guy is doing what he's doing. Um, and that's cool and all. Uh... As far as comedy, like I said, it seems like a, you know, as good as it counts as a uh, comedy drama, dramedy, whatever it wants to be, and, uh, yeah, uh, kind of interesting. Uh, definitely, it's something I recommend since it is on Netflix. Check it out. Uh, get the subtitles if you can. There's ways to get it downloaded if you need to, um, legally even, and enjoy it that way. <clears throat> Uh, the, what else am I thinking? The, I, I think if, I've been thinking about doing, I think I was mentioning this earlier about the, the Morph Man. So, right now I kind of know what I need to study. So I know, okay, I can get up to about 10,000 words studying that way. And I know also in between there will be some grammar stuff I want to kind of throw in there just for studying, just to make sure about, you know, comprehension or whatnot. And, uh, which again, now that I'm seeing it, when I'm worried, not worried about production, I'm worried just about comprehension. Then I know I can do these and do these a lot faster, and not be held up. And it's just a matter of being consistent, you know, going day by day and you know, learning 20 to 30 new words, or or adding 20 to 30 new words um, into Anki, you know, and just make sure about doing the review. And and again, there are some words here that are popping up. That I'm sure by the time I reach 10,000, those words will also be in the system, um, even though I'm noticing them pop up here. Uh, uh, you know, one's heart. <laughs> that that's a word. You know, um, what's another one? Haru tatsu. Well, yeah, that just means get angry. Um, what's kekon kinemi? Well, that's obviously a wedding anniversary. I'm trying to look for uh, maybe a word that was kind of new. But um, yeah, just because it's a word that I've seen. Yeah, yeah, there goes. Um, so uh, like sukiyanasu. Um, like just, uh, uh, yeah, just put some distance between the, you know, so, you know, you could learn, you spend the time and learn words this way. And I, I think I, I'm not recommending doing it just because I feel like, like in my mind, in my mindset, if, you know, if you, if you're getting distracted by turning this into a. Uh, learning lesson, and then you you kind of get you can't, it starts becoming more studying than in entertainment. And this is mainly this whole let's read is about entertainment. Um, again, you might learn something that's fine, but it's not, and, and that's kind of like secondary. The more thing is like to enjoy it, and while you're enjoying it, you're internalizing because you know again you're going over stuff that you know again that you just kind of know. Um, you know stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, like, you know, and, you know, and just kind of, and also what I'm doing personally, you know, may or may not notice that I'm doing it. I'm kind of <laughs> repeating the lines as I'm hearing them in my head. Sometimes I'll be repeating it out loud just for fun, just kind of like getting comfortable with, you know, hearing this. And, you know, it just, you start feeling like it's, um, you know, you start feeling the flow. Uh, also, if you're trying to, the way I think about when I repeat it, like trying to think of the mindset as to why it's being said, you know. Uh, so yeah, and there, there on the shikenai, and shikenai, like there's no one, no one but you that can do that. Uh, you know, that's a kind of a nice line to say to her, although it is uh, work related. It's a uh, and again, just kind of sit down and get, just kind of get used to it. You know, just 
you know, stuff repeats over time. You just start getting a feel for and you're not worried about learning new stuff. This is just putting stuff that you've already learned to use. And if you don't know it, just quickly look it up real quick and just keep going. And just have fun. You've seen it. It's fun. It doesn't take that long. It takes, yeah, it was a 45-minute episode. I was talking about 10 minutes, about 5 minutes now. So, yeah, it's, so it took about 20 or 30 minutes extra on top of the the actual audio time to do with the reading. Because, you know, looking up some stuff, maybe, maybe a brief bit about explanation. But most of it's just about reading. And that's fine. As time goes on, you pause less because you know most a lot more and more of it. But you know the part you pause, make sure that you do kind of get the story as it's going along. Um, you're not uh, missing parts, and it's better this way than if you had just did it with English subtitles. That's all. Um, you're. It is kind of like. It's kind of like. In fact, I'll say it like this: It's kind of like having English subtitles in a way, but just English with the words you don't know, and then the rest of it's in Japanese, and you you do get a. <laughs> there is kind of cool, it's kind of cool when you think about it, and it has the uh, um, uh, <laughs> it just has a little bit of the uh, um, mm, trying to think if that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, I think it works that way. Cause like I said, I've not I've never seen this in Japan. There are some shows I've watched that have done these list read where I watched way way back when with English subtitles, like Hanayori Dango, um, Zetai Kadeshi. Kadeshi. It's uh, both those I've actually watched it with English subtitles at, at the very beginning. Um, but it's been like long periods, at, and that was like once. And then after that, though, the only time I'd ever seen it was in Japanese, it's where I'd kind of forgotten the um, the actual English lines. Um, other shows I'd never seen in English, like Rookies, there's one called um, Last Friends, Around Four. Most of those shows I've just never seen in English, so I don't even know what the translations are like. Um, that, that's kind of cool. And it's, it's a matter of building slowly more and more into that. You just want to get, just um, just expose, just keep getting more and more exposure to Japanese, prefer, comprehensible Japanese. And that's what this is about. Because, uh, you know, again, what you're seeing, when you're up to that, past that N4 level, especially with subtitles, you know, especially with maybe simple dramas that, that are fun to watch. But, you know, just go with simple subtitles and, you know, just quickly look up words you don't know and just do this for like a half hour a day. You know, when you get past that, in for it, once you're done with the N3, but maybe do it for um, an hour a day, you know, and add in audiobooks if you want to. And then at the N2 level, as you're approaching that, go for an hour and a half a day, you know, however, however you feel, it doesn't matter. And, um, you know, just you still want to have watching there, but I think reading is going to be a big part of it and just have fun doing it. So, again, let's read Japanese. Just, I just prefer the idea of reading to audio. It just, I have read without audio, it is okay. This feels like I was fighting with the pronunciation a bit too much. Now this is a lot more fun. I'm not fighting pronunciation. It feels like I'm listening better. I could be wrong. Again, this is kind of a self-experiment, but it, it, so far it feels positive. I'm sure people are going to complain, like because I'm using what's called a text hooker, um, like this right here. That's considered, you know, again, like oh, I, I'm just leaning on dictionary. But if you compare what I'm doing to what some other people have done, because they're doing it, I think, way too early. Like, you can hear they are just struggling. Like, each sentence is a struggle. They're taking forever just to do five minutes worth of audio. And so that's not a good sign. So that's turning it into a, a chore. And that's what you kind of want to avoid. So I'm, that's why I'm saying, like, maybe, again, wait till you're past that M4 level, you know. And uh, you got some, you know, you got a couple thousand vocabulary words in your belt, 500 kanji under your belt, and um, basic grammar. Yeah, and you can get, there's going to be stuff you're missing that's fine. But uh, for the most part, you should be doing all right. And yeah, yeah, just um, yeah, like I'm doing here. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. Just say, hey, you know, I'm gonna. There's gonna be a show. I'm only these shows. I'm only gonna be watching Japanese and uh, trying to understand it in, as much in Japanese as possible. You know, and if not, you know, um, English dictionary. Like you don't even do, have to do what I'm doing, where the um, Japanese dictionary is first. You can actually put the English dictionary first. You know, so you can do it quick because you're not. You know, you, again, you're just going for fun. You know, and just and then keep going on from there. But you know, kind of make sure you you can hear the word definitely. Like shigoto, and that's what I mean. Kimeta mi tai desu. So nan desu ka? Demo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Shiteki na ie ni shite kudasai ne. Kono san no ishiri wo tataete kanarazu go kitai. Iraeru, irae.
Okay. Anyway, I've talked enough. Thank you all very much. This is uh, Nuke Marine. There's, again, as I mentioned, there are two more episodes left in Keiko and Tekken and Toko, so 11 and 12. Um, I might do 11 tonight, today. I might do it later. Who knows? Uh, after that's going to be a let's read of Harry Potter, the first half of book one, and do that. After I'm finished with that, I'll move to another TV and come back to Harry Potter. And just basically, mo if it's fun, I'll move through the books, you know. Just because. I'm sure because Harry Potter is probably a... I just know it's a popular book for people learning Japanese to read. You know, it's a book I enjoyed reading, you know, at least with the first book. So, you know, why not just do this for fun, like I'm doing here. Again, playing the audio and looking up words if I see a word I don't know. You know, and just keep going on from there. Um, and don't worry about if I learn something, I, so be it. If not, so be it. You know, it's just... There, and there are some good, good words to learn there. I already know that. Um... And at the same time, I'll be doing my regular studying. And we'll see how that goes. So I'm pretty much at the 100-hour mark as far as these videos, uh, if you add it all together. So, I, you know, I think, um, yeah, for, for as far as Let's Read going, yeah, I've, I've actually done 100 hours worth of videos. Uh, <laughs> I've read more than that, but still, I mean, it's uh, just a matter of, you know, making stuff for uh, YouTube. You know, and then, so now my new target is 200 hours. I've hit the 100-hour mark, now it's the 200-hour mark. Um, as far as books are concerned, this is going to be the equivalent of nine books. Um, technically, more than that, but yeah, we'll just say it's nine books. And just keep going from there. And just keep building up the number of books that have been read. And there's no real target for number of books, it's just the target is 500 hours of reading. Because, again, as time goes on, I, I can fit more reading into the hour. So, what would take me maybe... 10 books for that first 100 hours, I could probably do 20 books in that last 100 from the hours five, 400 to 500. You know, who knows? I just start reading faster. Uh, time will tell. Cool beans. Okay, uh, thank you all very much. This is uh, Nuke Marine. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure. And be back in a little bit. Uh, either today or tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, thank you all very much. Oh, let me say thank you. And by the way, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. There you go. Alright, later guys.